so this is the project we have started on the last episode when he when we have started installing flutter and configuring everything else but you can see it is overwhelming i can see things there are lots of things to think about so first thing first let's make our development environment easy to use and most importantly how we can develop things faster so for faster development this is the video so first thing i want to make things looks good is this font size i cannot see properly these codes so to have these changes we just need to go to file and then on the setting but i can see there is a shortcut called control alt s i will press control alt s and then here we have and let's search for font so i want to change the font and yes you can see on the editor we have this font and in this font i will say let's say 16 and i will make this line spacing 1.2 and let's click on okay yes things are little good next important thing i want to install the material ui actually so i will go to plugin and here i will search for material and material ui theme which is this so install it and this will install very quickly so restart ide and firstly we need to configure our material theme so click on this next and it's asking for which kind of ui you want so ocean or darker so let's use ocean oceanic actually but there are more here so pale night are there deep ocean so let's use deep ocean and click on contrast so high contrast i prefer because i can see things properly then ascent and uh, this color i don't mind this is okay what about this yeah okay that's okay other settings I don't have to care about click on finish and start Android studio so this time now everything is looking so much cool but once again you can see the font stays the same so let's go once more and on the editor we use the font and font is 16 but we have changed it so what happened here actually the uh, theme the material theme is over using overriding the font size so you can see current editor font is 12 so now I can simply make it 14 or maybe 16 as last time and then because I can simply say apply and then click OK and things looks good once more and this is nice so what are the things we should care about so suppose you are working on this terminal suppose you have this left panel started so suppose you have right panel here and you you are cluttered with all these things and your code stays behind you need to scroll there and here what if you want to remove all these cluttering you just need to remove this and to remove this i can search for shortcut so again i will go to setting by pressing ctrl alt s and this time i will go to key map and here i can search by typing the name or if i can and if i know the shortcut i can directly type the key binding so as we know the key binding we properly know is ctrl alt s to open the setting so if i type ctrl alt s here you can see it says setting you are searching for setting but i don't want to search for setting I want to search for hide all so hide all side all tool window so it says control shift and F12 so let's use this so control shift and F12 and voila you can see everything is gone everything is out no cluttering simple code is here and next is if you want to open this project to sidebar then you don't need to move the cursor every time you just need to press alt 1 and it will toggle between this theme simple and if you forgot the key binding you can simply go to view tool windows and you can see the project is alt 1 similarly favorite is alt 2 and alt 6 everything is given there so 
here i don't want to use the resource manager and never use these things so what i will do i will remove from sidebar similarly these things removed everything i removed so that things become easy now uh, yeah, I will use these two on the right side, but let's go to view and You can see version control is given here. So it is for git versioning So if I click here at the bottom, you can see we have now we have the tab of uh, Version control. So similarly, we have a tab for terminal and again You don't have to open terminal by moving the cursor. There's a shortcut and shortcut is simple you can see which is uh, uh, if I go here and for the terminal is alt f12 so alt f12 is open and close the terminal so very easy but suppose sometime you don't have these things by mistake you have removed version control or terminal from this bottom bar so what you can simply do go to view and yeah terminal is back and you can now work with it but you can see at just at the bottom create git repository some kind of and information is given this, this doesn't matter to me i don't want these so i will go to view and you can see it says toolbar a uh, tool window bar it is for the left tool window bar but i want that because i will use this sidebar but again because you can see on this tool window bar it just have one thing and i as i told you i will never use my mouse i will use alt 1 to toggle between this so i can simply remove this so toolbar is gone so if i want sidebar i can press con alt 1 similarly if i say status bar so yes you can see now its status bar is gone but as i told you i want the status bar so status bar is here so what if i want uh, i want terminal as i told you alt 12 it comes here and next is uh, status bar i don't want so okay that's cleared so cluttering is gone navigation bar so you can see we can simply navigate between these directories yes i can use these things and also i will use these tools so these things are good and that's very cool so now every time if i want something i can use my keyboard shortcut instead of moving my mouse and that will help you to uh, to write code and to develop flutter application so much faster that you have never think of so i am sure you have you are going to follow these things and create your own shortcut create your uh, use android studio's own keyboard shortcut because keyboard is way faster than using the mouse so we will meet in the next episode because next we are going to understand the directory structure and how flutter actually work on these uh, files and directories so if you have any question related to flutter android studio and installing flutter on windows or ios just uh, you can message me on youtube email me or message me on facebook twitter instagram you can also follow me on twitter facebook instagram linkedin all platforms okay and we will meet in the next episode and maybe i will start working on uh, my mac because uh, i don't work on windows so much it just for creating these tutorials i have used windows so if you if you need any kind of help regarding the shortcuts or regarding any kind of windows related help you can just message me i will surely solve that problem so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye